Hi friends, it's so great to see you. Welcome to church this weekend. I love that you are here. We are in the month of July, which is so exciting. And we're gonna hop right into the clubhouse and a little activity with Zoe and also do our songs. You might wanna get up and start dancing a little bit in a moment, but I just wanted to say hello and welcome and remind you that today we're gonna hear a story and it's from the Bible. And we know that the Bible is God's word. And the Bible says, God made me, God loves me, and Jesus wants to be my friend forever. All right, I just wanted to say hello and remind you of that. Now let's hop over to our song. So maybe you wanna stand up, get some wiggles and jiggles out, and we're gonna start dancing and, and worshiping God together. All right, let's go. painting fun pictures. What do you think I should paint today? Ooh, that sounds fun. I know, 
Maybe if I listen to some music, I can get more ideas from that. Music player Melody? Yes? Play some fun music. What kind of music? I don't know. Surprise me. Playing music. Ooh, this is pretty. It sounds like water. This one sounds like an elephant stomping around. I think I hear a train. Do you hear a train? That one sounds like a bird flying around. I'm gonna use orange. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Painting what the music plays, are you? Hi, Ollie. I think this music might sound just like you. Painting to music is fun. It's true. And I have another story about music for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at these fun music cupcakes. <laughs> they have music notes on them because our story today has music in it. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This story is all about how you can trust that God is with you. It starts with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. Can you say that? neb a ka nezer Try it! neb a ka nezer Good job! And here he comes! King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had a giant idea. Now when I say giant, I mean giant. Look! King Nebuchadnezzar made a huge golden statue of himself. Then he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around, and he said that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me out? Get out your pretend trumpets like this, and when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! <laughs> Perfect! Okay, trumpets down. So let's start that again. The king said that every time the music played, he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. Great playing, everyone. Trumpets down. But here was the bad part. 
The king said, if you don't bow down, he would throw you into the fire. Whoa! And the king was serious. So each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there were three men that didn't bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were friends with God and knew that they should not bow down to anyone but the one true God. This made the king very mad. So he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Woo! If I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that God was with them. So when they went into the fire, everyone was very worried about them. But then something amazing happened. Look! How many people do you see in the fire now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four! Four people! Someone else was in the fire. God had sent an angel to be in the fire with them. He protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That is amazing! And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He's so surprised. And he said, guys, come out. Come out of the fire. So the three men came out, and they weren't hurt at all. Wow! <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had trusted God and that God had saved them. What a great story! God is amazing! God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even in the fire. And you can trust that God will always be with you too. I can trust God and you can trust God. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. The men trusted God was always with them, and he's always with you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and made sure they were safe. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I know that God is always with me no matter what music I'm painting to. Music player Melody, play more fun music. Playing music. I'll see you next time. Bye! Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Thanks so much for joining us today, friends. I'm so glad we could be here together and know that we can trust that God is always with us. Amazing, so amazing. All right, let's finish off our time by praying to God. So wiggle your fingers. One, two, three. 
God, we thank you that you were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and that you weren't just with them, but that you're with us too. Your presence is always with us, and we can trust that. So we thank you for this lesson today. Amen. Bye, everyone. See you later.